At this point, it would be a good idea to pull out some metallic watercolors if you have them, because playing with watercolors, for me, to make it super, super luscious and delicious, it's the textures, the opacity levels, and of course, that kind of shimmer and matte finish that you have. So when you combine all of those aspects is when I find watercolor just becomes impeccable. It's just so gorgeous and you get color, you get vibrancy, you get that playfulness rather than just having a smooth, lovely, doubly watercolor painting, if you know what I mean, which those are very pretty as well. Don't get me wrong, but it's just not not me. Uh, today is about discovering your art style, I suppose. So here I have got a customized palette. These are my favorite metallic watercolors. They're by Fine Tag, so Germany, and they're just gorgeous. You can get a whole array of them and you can buy these plastic palettes from them for like literally a few pounds, really cheap. And then you can select whatever color you want and the fantastic thing is you can refill them as many times as you want. So if you finish it, you just get a new one and then you clip it in here. So your palettes can be constantly uh, revitalized. So the colors I have here is peach, golden orange, Indian summer chocolate, rose gold and golden olive. To be honest, all of the colors in my opinion would work really beautifully with this palette, color palette that we have. Here's a bit of the greeny color, which if I wanted to add another dimension of color, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the blue yet. I may do, because we do need a pop. And if I'm not going with a chartreuse, then the other pop would be something. Adding a bit of green and blue might be a bit much. I think this Indian summer or peach or golden orange would do well. So these three colors I'm currently deciding. Actually, let's go with the golden orange. So the golden orange, I don't know if you can see in the pan, but it's got like this pink shimmer to it. So it's got a little bit of pigment separation. When it comes to these type of metallic colors, just add one drop of water let it sit so you can get this lovely mixture and you want it to be as saturated as possible so the mixture shouldn't be watery it should be really creamy think of like maybe double cream when it's very very creamy you're going to get lovely um, colors so what i'm going to do is do the same marks just little dots but with a brush so they will be slightly different they won't be round they might be a bit elongated and they won't be exactly the same so they might vary in size and shape so that's giving us another extra bit of interest also think about the color that you are layering on. It will look slightly different on darker colors and then slightly, obviously different on, on light colors as well. Also think about not smudging if something hasn't fully dried yet. I'm going to go all over even the darker area. I think I'll do it here as well. What you can do as well is add a bit of water and smudge some of the area and leave another crisp so that it kind of mimics this but doesn't just look exactly the same. You'll still maintain some of those shapes of the dots the pattern. And then just blend it like so. Let this dry and then we might consider other mediums. Here is something else I want to do. So 
I will use this little sketchbook and I'm not sure I want the blue anymore. I think I might stay within the same color palette. And I've got some things here and I'm going to just swatch these colors. Oops. And then we have all this color right here. So let's see, this was the darkest, then we have like that. So in this order right here, what I can do is basically go over these Neo Color 2s because they're water soluble. We are maintaining some of the line but we're pulling through the color into the inside of the circle or the, the shape. And that's another way of adding an interesting effect. So we've got these colors here. And I'm going to look at the colors and decide what color works the best for what I need to achieve. Okay. So I think that almost this color would be a nice pop, but I'm thinking now it might get lost, so I might go for another type of an orange. I have selected two more oranges, but I also selected a pink just in case I want to try a pink one as well. So we've got slightly muted orange, slightly bright orange and a pink. And I kind of always think that the pink would do better here. So we've got these type of colors. I feel that the pink will stand out a bit more. So what I'm gonna do is on top of this area right here, or maybe here, just create a few sketchy kind of rings like so. And then I'm going to take some water and bring this kind of milky pigment, bit of opacity into the center. Like so. Kind of looks like a little bubble of soap or something. As I was watching the Neo Color 2s, I realized this wasn't Burnt Sienna, it's the English Red. So now I want to take the same Salmon Pink and repeat it somewhere else in illustration, but I don't want to add another element of this because it's complete. I don't want to overdoing things. There's just so much beautiful, um, you know, textures and colors going on, which I'll show you the reflections of the metallic paint. So to do that, I'm just going to add a little bit of mark making. Just layering over some areas and I'm not looking to have a shape of them. It will be a little bit more free, kind of free-handed. So I think I'm going to do it here as well where there's white paper and I'm going to layer it over different textures. So here you can barely see it, for example, but on the beautiful burnt sienna. It looks stunning. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so I'll leave it at that and then I quite like it popping out somewhere so I'll probably go here because it's a nice corner to fill and also we have this dark color right next to it again so without doing too many marks I think I'm happy right there so just a little sprinkling it's like confetti at this point I will leave it to dry fully or almost fully and I will decide if I want to add anything else the only area here that I'm considering is right here there's maybe something that should go on top of it so I have considered this area here and I think because I love how this beautiful blossoming has happened so naturally that if I start doodling over it I might kind of accidentally cover it up or if I start adding on top of it again it would look a little bit odd that I just do a circle and leave those edges so I think the best thing again is going back to this beautiful salmon pink and what's interesting it looks bluer and cooler than on paper so on paper it's more warm toned and I'm just going to add a little bit of it over the top like that might consider sort of the shape that I want but not too much because very quickly these doodles can get extended quite quite excessively and I think the key here is not to do too much of it maybe more over the actual um, area that has this color like so it's just kind of elongated so that is it it has you see how long it takes although everything else is dry these are still not quite so I will however leave them to dry naturally because sometimes when you're over drying things the paper becomes quite warped so we've got loads of different textures here and I'm glad that I added some of this transparent red oxide throughout some of the other colors and yeah it's a lot of fun playing with the color palette with textures different art supplies different mediums this is what it's for you know for years and years on this channel we have been buying things together and then of course it's fun this is another reason why i love abstract art so much you just don't think about things you bring in all your acrylic paints and your even oil um, sticks and whatever else comes to mind and it's just a lot of fun to play with so thank you so much for watching let me know about content as such how you feel about going more abstract i'm still testing the water and seeing what's doing well it's very important for me to obviously create content here for you we've been here together for many many years we've been through pandemic we've been through some tough times and you know i want us to have a good time here so but at the same time i want to stay authentic to my own style and create content that i enjoy that reflects my own artist style so thank you so much again for watching and i will see you next time